Good morning, students. We are here today to discuss on the topic we had in our last class. So before we continue, we want you to hit that subscription button and subscribe to the highlights of buttons. So let us start now. So last yesterday we talked about food contamination. And we all know what food contamination is. Food contamination is the different ways or medium in which our food we eat is being infected with microorganisms or harmful substances that can cause illness to our cell. And purely source now I want to look at the source of food contamination. How these our uh, food are being infected by these harmful substances. Number one we have here today is microorganism, especially especially bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. Some of us we like eating some of our food, we just open it down. We don't know that something like this bacteria can fall and drop on our food. These are other ways in which our food is being infected today. Number two, we have like our rodents. Rodents like rats. All of we have rats in our homes. They are all, all over our homes. So rat is also a source of food contamination right, by which exposing your food in the ground, right, to come to that place and infect the food. That is another way of food contamination. Next, we have our pets like cats and dogs. In major homes, we are used to pets, cats and dogs. We are happy all around. But it's not good for us to be having them while we are eating because they can also affect our food and making us sick. Next is the poor refuse and waste disposal. Many of you eat, like, eat food late night, then the following cannot finish it, the following morning they refuse to dispose it off. This is another way for someone to be affected by the food contamination for refuge and wastage disposal. Next, we have our leftover and waste food. This is also the same thing as the poor refuge and waste, when you refuse to dispose of food. These leftover foods and waste are the food that you eat that you cannot finish. You now leave it to the next following day, and you must say you want to eat it again. It's not good. And number the next one we have is poor storage of perishable food and food stock. We all know what perishable food are. Perishable food are those food that cannot last long in our homes. So when we have poor storage facilities for those kind of food, it can result to food contamination. And next on the list is bad cooking habits, unhygienic conditions, and dirty environments. Many of, many of us practice bad cooking habits. By like while cooking your food, clean your use your hand to clean your sweat, or as you are cooking, refuse to tie your hair or put, put something like half a half a cup or fix a, a hat, something like that. Those are bad cooking habits. But while cooking, your cooking uh, environment is not good. That is another bad habit. On hygienic conditions. But like while cooking your plate is not tidy, you cook the, your pot you are using to cook is not washed, is not clean, the environment is not clean also. That can also cause food contamination. Our next is on our list is dust and wind condition. Dust and wind condition. This is another example of food contamination. This also can cause illness to our body when we expose our food to wind or dust. Now, I want to refer you back to the microorganism. Note, Staphylococcus, Aerus, and Clostridium palitonum are the major examples of microorganism. This is the botanical name of microorganism. So, these are the major cause of microorganism. This, this bacterium, these are what causes food contamination on our food. So let us start continuing on to the next one, source of food poison. Before we go to the source of food poison, what do you know what food poison is? Food poison is 
and we define as those as the consuming of contaminated food, food contamination, but like all those food that we eat, those bad food we eat during exposure of it. So it results to illness. So source of this food poison are poor food preparation. Some of the way we cook our food, we can be cook it well, the way a manner and habit of cooking the food. Next is the use of spoiled and infected food store to prepare meals. It's also part of the poor food preparation. We use spoiled food store. Some of you would like to manage food, all this food stuff that is not edible for uh, somebody to eat. The use of spread and effective food stuff is not good. Next is theory on the cooking of food for human consumption. When they cook food, like while cooking your rice, you not cook it to eat original taste texture of it. Like you not cook it to it's done. Some of us will cook it probably like half done and eat it like that. That is also a source of food poisoning. You poison your tummy, you poison yourself. Next is poor storage of food, especially when electricity fails and cold storage goes bad and you still take them in, you still drink them, you still take that food into your system. That can also result to food poisoning. So this year we stop here today. So subscribe to the Palace of All Things channel. See you now next class next week with the students.